fly tying tutorial today I will be tying the koga shrimp which is a squimp version made for fishing the Hawaii flats by a fellow named Peter Koga The hook I am using is a owner kappa size 6 white thread you can use any color you like for the feelers I am using clear ceiling legs with silver flake And I have a layer of thread down the hook shank where the legs are going to be tied for a bit more grip. that for the eyes I will be using bead chain medium black which is medium size not medium black as a medium black color you can use lead eyes I mean it's up to you all depending on the depth of the flats you are fishing. Make sure they're straight. Yeah, good enough. Now for the legs I will be using pumpkin seal legs with orange tip. Peter uses uh, clear with hot orange tip. It's up to you. You can use black if you wanna. I'm just gonna shorten the orange bit slightly making sure that the tips are aligned the length let's see one two yeah about one and a half to two times the hook So tie at the top, I'm going to take the one on the far side, move it, then take the one on my side and move it on the side of the hook shank. I'm going to tie it in and I'm going to take the one on the far side. tied in on the side of the hook shank like that now I'm gonna stretch cut now you have a choice either you can spin the dubbing in a dubbing loop. Oh man, Ugh, nasty sound. Spin it in a loop or dub it on a thread. It's up to you. I'm gonna spin because I'm lazy. Oh, I need my wax. Again, the best dubbing wax is 
Swix Extra Blue it's, It doesn't melt but it's sticky which is nice I mean those waxes that are all icky sticky I mean almost runny you don't want that on your fly you want something that's dry like this but sticky yeah I know I said icky sticky anywho I'm going to be using again the SLS salt water this time in the color sand which looks like this I don't know it's almost white and I'm just gonna take some of the dubbing and apply to the thread usually I touch dub but now I need just a bit more of a thicker dubbing noodle That and I'm gonna spin my spinner. I'm gonna go first forward making sure I don't trap the legs and like that then I'm gonna go a few rounds around the eyes now this is not enough for the whole fly but it's easier to make a shorter noodle because it's more manageable when tight Cut. Make another loop. Not all the way back. You need at least uh, three or four mil between the. the body and the hook eye for the wing and the second pair of legs again take some dubbing put it on the thread Paint the noodle. I'm just gonna build a nice body. Yeah, that was way too much, but that's all right. fibers that are going forward backwards like that ah, we're gonna give it a slight brush like that now for the wing I'm gonna take the fly out and turn the hook around making sure I don't squeeze the legs too much all right for the underwing I'm using Steve Ferrar blend in natural or pearl or whatever I don't know I'm not sure it's clear so I'm gonna take a very very small amount and I mean small amount when I tighten it it's about 
Amel. Maybe Amel. Take a few turns, adjust that, tie in, cut the excess, and I'm gonna trim it about hook and a half long. Just give it a bit of styling, like that. And for the overwing squirrel, very small amount here too. You definitely don't want to overdo it. Too much. Yeah, something like this. So about the same length of the underwing. So a few wraps, adjust, a few more. I'm just gonna see that it's nice. It is. Sneak the excess. A bit of super glue. And cover with thread. Now there's no way in hell this is going to go anywhere. Okay, for the second part of, for the second pair of legs, again, Pumpkin with orange tip. Snip a bit, a bit of the orange tip. Make sure the, they're nice and equal in length. Yeah, a bit, maybe a centimeter longer than the wing. Tie in and adjust. Let's see. Just slightly to the side. You don't want them going all the way. on the side of the hook just a little bit. Just a quick whip finish. And some super glue to make sure this doesn't go anywhere. Like that. And for the final touch. That's the fly. And that's it. Really nice, I love it. I mean, it's simple to tie, few materials, and it looks great. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.